Hello children. So this video we are going to continue with the lesson reaching for the stars. So last video we saw about Kalpana Chawla and her early childhood and how she started to dream to become an astronaut, right? So this video will be continuing with the lesson. Kalpana loved to fly. She earned a pilot's license when she lived in the Bay of San Francisco between 1988 and 1994. So you know that in the last video we saw that she went for America for doing her higher studies. So when she was there, she learned a pilot. She got a pilot's license in between the year 1988 and 1994. Later, she took up acrobatic flying and enjoyed giving her friends joyrides. So, what she used to do is she used to just go for some some j simple rides and take her friends in the aircraft. Then, Kalpana married Jean Pierre Harrison, her flying instructor. That is her coach who taught her to drive the flights and all know when she was 27 years old okay so when she was 27 years old she got married so in december 1994 the national space academy that is nasa accepted kalpana chavla's ap application so by march 1995 chavla reported to the johnson space center as a candidate in the nasa astronaut group 15 so she joined as an astronaut in nasa by march 1995 so, who, who are called as astronauts? So, people who are trained to travel in a spacecraft are called astronauts. So, they are actually trained. Not just a person is simply selected. Not just a person who studies aeronautical engineering is selected. They have to undergo a lot of training regarding this. Okay. So, space training requires immense mental and physical fitness so you have to be physically fit and also at the same time mentally fit you have to be positive self-reliant that is you have to trust your own self and also be capable of taking quick decisions so you have to decide quickly okay so these uh, skills and these positive points should be in with, with you to become a ostinate okay then, so Kalpana Chawla was not just a space traveler. She was not just a space traveler, but she had other interests too. She loved to listen to the music of Ravi Shankar, Hari Prasad Chaurashya and Nusrat Fatih Ali Khan. She also learned Bharatanatyam in the age of 32. So, when she was 32, okay, she learned Bharatanatyam because she was very interested in music and dance. In November 1996, Kalpana's long cherished dream came true. What is a long cherished dream? A dream is to become the astronaut and reach for the stars, right? So, this happened in November 1996 when she was assigned as a mission specialist and prime robotic arm operator on the spacecraft Columbia STS-87. She spent over 372 hours in space. So, when she went in that spacecraft columbia sts 37 she spent about 372 hours in space in 2000 she was assigned to the crew of the spacecraft columbia mission sts 107 to be launched in 2003 so in 2000 she was assigned to another mission which uh, will be taking place by 2003 so, it was 1st February 2003, the time the Kennedy Space Center in Florida and a little and the time was in Kennedy Space Center, the time was 8.53 a.m. and in India, the time was little after 7 p.m. All news channels flashed this breaking news, the Space Shuttle Columbia with six astronauts on board has exploded over Texas, Arkansas and Louisiana due to technical failure. That is... The second mission in which uh, Kalpana Chawla was sent to the, in the spacecraft Columbia STS-107, it was returning back to the Earth and that time it got exploded. Okay, so it was just about to land up but due to some technical issues, it got exploded. In, when it and After entering the Earth's surface, it got exploded because of some technical failure. So, along with other five astronauts, Kalpana was also 
died because of this incident the whole world watched in disbelief as horrific images of this explosion were telecasted over and over again so on all the news channels were telecasting this images or this video of this bomb blast continuously india lost a daughter who was a role model for many indians but a spirit will never die it will continue to inspire and motivate others like her to follow her example yes children so she died okay but her dreams and her spirit will never die and also it will motivate others like her who wish to follow their dreams to achieve whatever they aim for So Chavla stayed about 760 hours in space and traveled 52 times around the earth okay she has traveled for about 52 times around the earth and also she has been stayed totally she has went for two missions right so for totally she has stayed in the space for 760 hours so she lie she lived and died by her motto follow your dreams uh, yes children you already know that her motto in life was to follow her dreams and she lived and died by the motto follow your dreams so kalpana played a big role in helping the girl child okay so two students from our school she studied in karnal school no in the town karnal school right so in that school every year two students are selected as part of the nasa space school foundation program so they are sponsored they are given sp- uh, they will sponsor for two children for all, for their education okay so the haryana government gives an award every year in the name of kalpana chavla so the haryana government also gives an award every year in the name of kalpana chavla it is called as kalpana chavla award the punjab government also has an award for the best student in aerospace engineering okay even the punjab government also awards the best student in aerospace engineering in the name of kalpana chavla so what would she you would tribute so what great tribute could be paid for someone who realized her own dream but also passed the dream on okay so yes so actually finally uh this is a great tribute right giving a award in your name is actually a very good thing so she has achieved uh, such an achievement in her life she has also achieved a dream goal at the same time she has also achieved something great in life and she has been a role model for many indian girls who wish to achieve something not only for girls for all the for everyone So Kalpana Chawla will always be remembered as one of the world's most special women who was not only the first Indian woman in space but also a woman who dared to fulfill her dreams okay so whatever may be the dream she is you have to be very daring and have to be work, you have to work hard for achieving your dreams okay so Kalpana Chawla was the first woman who went to space and she was also a special woman who because she dared to fulfill her dreams so there's a quote from kalpana chavla the path from dreams to success does exist exist may you have the vision to find it the courage to get onto it wishing you a great journey kalpana chavla so this quote tells that you have to there is a path for your dream to your success so you have to find it and you have to get the courage to go and achieve your goal okay so also she is wishing you a good journey in your successful path in your in the path of your success okay children so i hope you'll enjoy the lesson thank you bye bye